Uh, greetings Aquarius and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're all well and uh, let's dive right in together. And thank you all for your support and uh, for my new viewers, uh, let's uh, see what the cards have and I hope my content resonates with you all. And this is the energy surrounding uh, the reading today. And you come into the reading with a sense of Lord, of take charge and authority. Well, this is the emperor energy. Uh, and you see uh, there is fire with the ram and the horns of the stag and this cape of burgundy, which is uh, connected to power, uh, to royalty, to wisdom, and how to use a power in that action-oriented leadership manner. Because you're taking authority um, you're taking charge, you're taking authority of Aquarius, and that's what's coming in. And it's gonna bring you a sense of a new destiny. You might be connecting to that kind of energy of the masculine, a divine uh, energies of going out into the world and the structures and how to create um, and manifest a plan and take action and to execute uh, desires and uh, visions in the world. And the next uh, energy around you is this sense of protection guardian. And you see that there is the jewel in the palm of your hand. There's something very uh, powerful with your hands and the ability uh, to heal or to uh, express or to com communicate your energy around a uh, protection. Uh, drop your shield. Well, it's saying before this Lord, take charge and authority. Uh, and then the uh, card of this um, guardian is to drop your shield. So to realize that you, as you take charge and authority, you can let go of that shield of um, needing uh, to be defensive and know you have that protection around you. Um, and that is what is the energy coming. And thank you, Spirit Guides, for overseeing this reading. And uh, this is connecting, again, to uh, the energy of justice, balance, truth, and of the emperor. So there is a Lib Libra and Aries energy, which is we're coming into the Aries full moon on October 17th. So at some point, you are really radiating your own sense of authority, of control, of balance, um, of the ability to take action on your ideas, but also to know you're protected. Uh, so you can drop your shield and move forward with that inner trust, that inner knowing. And uh, this is what is coming for you, uh, Aquarius, well, the world. Well, that has been following you in these readings for the past a few weeks. So it's suggesting that there is this fulfillment coming because you're stepping into a whole new timeline with this a charge, with this authority. And you're dropping your shield because you see this the world is able to trust with that Ouroboros, that completion. You're coming into a whole new world, a new portal. And you've got these batons, which are vibrational uh, tuning forks. So you're at, in tune now uh, to all of the energies around you, within you, and in the universe, connecting to that source energy. And it is connecting to those fixed signs of Aquarius. That's you. And a Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo. And you're coming in with uh, this energy, uh, what is, you're feeling a lot about this ending, this completion, or this just upgrade uh, to a time of taking leadership, authority, and dropping your shield because you know you're ready to step into this new uh, reality. Uh, you could be connecting to world travel, but you're entering a whole new dimension and it's gonna have a lot of depth and feeling and emotional understanding and um, contentment. And also a sense of, as you drop your shield, you allow those intuitive energies to flow through you, Aquarius. Uh, deep feelings, deep understanding of this, uh, of how to 
uh, close out a cycle and to take charge and action toward uh, this sense of the foundation where you've been uh, standing up. Uh, maybe that is why it's saying to drop your shield because you now have a protection guardian in the form of the divine masculine. And you're standing your ground, Aquarius. Look how far you come. You climbed up. Uh, this is what you're completing, this uh, phase of um, energy where you have been successful in the six of wands, uh, riding on your high horse, having a following. And when you are successful, as you know, Aquarius, you don't just uh, sit back and rest on your laurels. You've had to stand up and keep going, figure out how to use your passion, your fire, your protection. You're protecting yourself and the work you've done. And the protection guardian is here now because you're gonna use uh, that energy in that palm of your hand and to recognize whatever this is you stood for, uh, it's worth it. You stood your ground and you're gonna uh, now take charge and authority at the foundation and move on, keep believing in yourself and know you're worth it and know it's worth the fight. But to also recognize that you have been successful and to move forward with that momentum because you're seeing this clearly uh, recently from the past. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. But the queen is offering uh, the world a gesture of blessing. You see how they're looking kind of almost at each other. Uh, and the world is looking back to the queen of swords, recognizing uh, that uh, how much you have gone through, what your intelligence and all of this energy and what you've thought, those beliefs uh, that you've stood your ground on. Now you're able to uh, recognize for the first time because you've gotten above the clouds. That's you're getting above a confusion or um, a sense of just holding very strong beliefs, but not allowing the uh, truth to be revealed, but it's coming up out of you, out of your throne. And that's allowing a blessing to come. You're blessing this uh, completion, uh, this new phase, and you're seeing it clearly now that it's right. And the queen of swords, she is uh, truthful to herself, and she knows how to stand for that. And she is the protection guardian of the mind. And so you're seeing that in a new way, uh, this closing out of a cycle where maybe you had to be more defensive and struggle uh, to maintain this balance. But now you're seeing it truthfully uh, because what is coming up for you at the crown is a sense of a passion, a boldness, a knights go with momentum. Uh, toward their goal, uh, toward what they're fired up about. And see, this wand you've uh, been defending and standing your ground, well, now you've got this knight with momentum, this Aries uh, energy of Leo, Sagittarius, this drive, uh, this force. You can almost feel this knight burning their wheels, so to speak, to race through this. So there is a quick energy coming from the crown because the truth is gonna set you free to move forward with momentum and clarity, but also with ambition and an entrepreneurial and zeal of enthusiasm toward this new world. And you're having a lot of feelings about it, but also you're thinking clearly now about what it is that you want uh, that is coming into the present um, is choices. Well, there are many cups here, and this is a shadow uh, energy of Scorpio, Pisces, um, Cancer. And look at all the potential in each of these cups. And you're uh, moving toward a new ambition, a new goal, out with the old, toward something bold and new. You're maybe cocky energy toward, wow, look at all these choices and daydreaming and just fantasizing uh, with the King of Cups about what's possible, what makes you feel good. And that is um, our barometer in manifestation and going after something passionately 
with our intuition is to see, well, where, where am I feeling this? Does this uh, energy uh, that I'm closing out, these rewards I'm reaping, the celebration of an understanding uh, that I want to passionately move out into the world, travel, uh, world travel that's going to connect me deeply uh, to uh, these energies around me that have a lot of emotional intelligence. But then uh, there are choices to be made. You have a lot of options, Aquarius. And what you're thinking about the options is, um, well, I hope that I don't choose a cup that will cause me uh, any kind of heartbreak again. Because the Queen of Swords has seen truthfully what had been going on. And this is uh, connected to closing out this world. Uh, the Three of Swords is looking back, and that's how you're thinking about this new beginning, this completion. And with the choices, Aquarius, you might be uh, maybe daydreaming, fantasizing, uh, feeling like, well, I don't know, there's so many things to choose from, and maybe being worried, I don't want to make the wrong choice and end up where I have been, maybe mentally in terms of uh, a choice I made in love or what was chosen uh, for me. And uh, so we're going to uh, move forward and see the environment is the tower where there is something coming down uh, in your environment, something significant, a restructuring, uh, connecting again to a new world. This had to change. Uh, this had to come down. Whatever ended um, brought in this tower moment, a revelation that is coming out of the environment. A particular person is perhaps communicating um, something to you about a choice that you were making. Uh, that in the past, uh, you're looking at whatever difficulties you had in breakups or in choices in love or in partnerships or in the things, the way you felt about situations. But you're going to go quickly and boldly toward a new opportunity. And it's coming in with the hope and fear of the wheel of fortune, well, that things will move forward. And you've got, uh, again, the four uh, fixed signs. Uh, there is a closure, a completion, a movement, a change, uh, a momentum uh, toward a different kind of a future, a destiny, a fortune. But it has to come uh, with this release uh, and this tower and really for the uh, to really see through in your mind if there's anything you're holding back um, and that the environment is going to uh, communicate this and it's going to have to be uh, a new structure and the structure is going to be uh, bringing in a lot more fulfillment, recognition, an upgrade and it's also going to be a, a deep upgrade in your emotions and how you feel about your overall a situation in life and the new choices that are coming. And the wheel is turning uh, now for you, Aquarius. And the advice is uh, um, to keep moving and building and toward this happiness and to be aware of that uh, choices have consequences um, and actions have consequences. But non-action does as well. So you're going to take charge and action and move toward this fulfillment. And it's time now to drop your shield and receive this abundance of love all around you. And that's where the wheel is taking you, Aquarius, toward your bliss. And that's uh, the message uh, is to step into that, to close out the old cycle uh, so you can come into that fulfillment, that happiness, that happy life, that vibrational energy that is radiating like the rainbow. And it's going to bring you um, this new destiny. And Aquarius, that is very powerful for you at this time. And you're going to have a lot of uh, feeling about it. Um, deep uh, understanding, emotional intelligence. And we'll be moving quickly toward it. Uh, toward what you know is right and true now. And be given a blessing and an offering. And 
there are choices to be made and there has been um, a, some reflection or mental a conflict within yourself about uh, the past, past choices and getting clarity now from your environment with some very quick communication that this restructuring is coming and it needs to because you're dropping your shield, you're dropping down any walls that separate you from what is real and you're taking charge and action and that is going to bring you to this whole new world. Um, and so it is, my dear, beautiful Aquarius, and that's the message that the universe wants you to know right now. And uh, in the next 24 hours, something very significant from this reading will be coming to you, and you will know it, uh, and it will be a revelation, and it will take you down um, to a whole new journey. The wheels are turning uh, with that fortune, with that momentum. Uh, and see you next time and sending you love. Bye-bye, Aquarius.